hello everyone now we are going to see a case study on law of diminishing marginal utility in the course engineering economics and cost analysis in economics utility is the satisfaction or benefit derived by consuming a product thus the marginal utility of a good or service is the change in the utility from an increase in the consumption of that good or service now here is a video for the law of diminishing marginal utility with a mathematic example given by a professor by mica institute professor from mica university mysore have explained the law of diminishing marginal utility relating to mathematics and uploaded the video in youtube here is a video for you Uh, uh, proposed by uh, an economist named Russell, and it was popularized by uh, Professor uh, Alfred Hitch. So this is a very important law. It has it has got wide application. As long as we study and apply the concepts of economics, there is no escaping from the law of diminishing margin. So it's very important for us to have thorough understanding of this. first uh, column here i have uh, considered the units now what is happening i am increasing the consumption of the number of units of a particular good now what's happening i start the first unit i go up to the sixth unit so i have consumed six units of a given product now let's come to the second column which talks about the uh, total unit so what's happening as i am consuming an additional unit the total utility the satisfaction that i'm deriving from those units is increasing it's very simple then it becomes 16 18 21 21 18 so it's increasing now let's move on to the last column which is of great importance to us here in this video it talks about the marginal utility so what is happening when i consume the first unit the utility that i gain was 10 when i consume the second unit the utility that i'm adding to myself has been reduced to 6 when i consume the third unit So, so what's happening now? There is minus three. It means that it is not just adding any. Forget about adding any utility. It is actually causing. It may be causing some sort of a trouble to me also. So this is how the DME actually works. As we consume the number of units of a given commodity, the utility that we gain out of it keeps on reducing. It becomes zero. It also becomes Let's take an example to understand this. It becomes very easy. Let's say you are very hungry. You get uh, bananas to eat. So you consume the first banana. You are very happy. You feel that your hunger is taken care of. So you stop there. You, know, you go to the second. But the difference between the utility that you gain by consuming the first banana and the second banana would be reduced. If you consume the third one, it further reduces. Fourth one, it further reduces. Say you have consumed eight bananas. Somebody is offering you the ninth one now. Now. There is a good chance of you throwing up everything that you have eaten because nine or eight or nine bananas is too much. So we tell that when we consume the lot of units of a given commodity, the utility that it adds to us keeps on reducing. Now, how do we put this in the form of a graph? There is a graph that is already written on the board for us. So there are two axes: the y-axis and the x-axis. On the y-axis, I have taken the total utility and the on the x axis i have considered the number of units as you know when we move away from the origin on both axis the value increases it means that if i move on the right of the x axis it means that i am consuming higher number 
number of units. So similarly, when I move upward on the y axis, the total utility and marginal utility will also change. So what is happening here? When we start consuming the units of a given commodity, the utility increases. It reaches the maximum and later it decreases. Now, but what is happening with marginal utility? From the word go, the marginal utility is reducing. It intersects with the axis also. It means that at the point of intersection, the value of marginal utility is equal to 0. It would not stop there. It goes below the x axis. It means that its value is also becoming negative. So what has been done in this graph is the values in this table is represented as x. There is one very uh, interesting observation that has done here. When Tu is at the maximum, Mu is at 0. When Tu starts to decline, Mu becomes negative. This is one relation which we need to remember. When Tu is at the maximum, Mu is 0. When Tu starts to decline, Mu becomes negative. So I hope you have all clearly understood the concept of law of diminishing marginal utility by the professor have explained with the example charts and graphs. And I would like to add some more points to it. Marginal utility is the additional satisfaction a consumer gains from consuming one or more unit of a good or a service. Marginal utility is an important economic concept because economists use it to determine how much of an item a consumer will buy and also I would like to give some more examples uh, related to the law of diminishing marginal utility and the professor has also given a very good example of banana eating and I would like to uh, say whether some of the candies or chocolates consuming one candy bar may satisfy person's sweet tooth if a second candy bar is consumed the satisfaction of eating the second bar will be less than the satisfaction gained from eating the first and so on here what I am coming to say that if you ate a chocolate, the first one, you will be very much satisfied with this chocolate and if you go on for the second one, the satisfaction amount you gained from the second chocolate will be very much less than that of the first one and if you move for another third and fourth one, the satisfaction rate will go on decreasing and I would like to add some more examples to this concept that is after holding your breath under water, Coming up for air and taking the first breath will feels wonderful. The second breath may bring satisfaction as well, but the satisfaction will decrease as more breaths are taken. And here is another video to understand the concept of law of diminishing marginally well. The video will is going to be an animated video, so hopefully you will enjoy it. Now let's go for a video. To explain the law of diminishing marginal utility, we need to obviously understand what utility and marginal utility are. Simply put, utility is a term economists like to use to describe the satisfaction you feel after consuming a product or service. Whereas marginal utility represents the increase in utility you experience after consuming one more unit of that product or service. The law of diminishing marginal utility, also called Gossen's first law, as a tribute to Hermann Heinrich Gossen, simply states that as you consume more, the marginal utility usually goes down. In other words, a glass of orange juice provides a lot of satisfaction when you're thirsty. You can drink another one, but it won't provide as much satisfaction as the first. A third glass might give you additional satisfaction, but not much, whereas as of a certain point, we're in negative utility territory because let's just say you probably won't feel too well after drinking the tenth glass. Of course, there are exceptions, anything from deriving more pleasure from binge-watching several episodes of a show rather than just one, to enjoying your stamp collection more as you continue adding to it, but oh, all in all, the law of diminishing marginal utility provides a decent glimpse into how humans consume. So hope I have seen that you have all clearly understood the concept of law of diminishing marginal utility with examples, charts and graphs. And I would like to summarize the law of diminishing marginal utility. A law of economics states that a person increases the consumption of a product while keeping consumption of other products constant. There is a decline in the marginal utility that a person derives from consuming each additional unit of the product. And we have also seen the marginal utility and explanation of law of diminishing marginal utility with the help of examples. Uh, 
how marginal utility is diminishing in economics utility is a satisfaction or benefit derived by consuming a product thus the marginal utility of a good or a service is a change in the utility from an increase in the consumption of that good or service in the context of cardinal utility the economists sometimes speak of law of diminishing marginal utility meaning the first unit of consumption of a good or a service yields more utility than the second and subsequent units with a continuing reduction for greater amounts therefore a fall in marginal utility as consumption increases is known as the diminishing marginal utility therefore i repeat therefore the fall in marginal utility as consumption increases is known as the diminishing marginal utility thank you if you have any questions you can post your questions and this is a session for question and answers thank you